Hello, welcome to part one of the Microtik configuration series and I'm going to show you how to do the initial configuration of your router but before you start configuring it I'm going to show you how to connect your router to your PC. So on the back of your router there are a number of ports. You will be connecting your Ethernet cable into port either port 2 to 5 to do the initial configuration. The reason why we are not going to use port 1 is that port 1 um, by default is not allowed to configure the router because it's blocked because of firewall. So there's a firewall setting that is in the router that is uh, that would prevent the router from being configured through port 1. So what you need to do is to plug your ethernet cable into either port 2, 3, 4 or 5 and the other end of your cable you will be plugging that into your PC or your laptop and you will be connecting your power cable into the power jack and power up your router. So next I am going to show you how to do the initial configuration of your router. So the first thing that you need to do is to open your browser and go to microtik.com slash download and we are going to download Winbox so Winbox is a tool that is used to configure your Microtik router so it gives you a graphical user interface for easy configuration so you're going to download Winbox so whatever version is there just download it and save it into a location um, where you'll be able to access it easily so by just clicking on the link, it will ask you to download the file. Um, just choose a location to save the file and uh, press OK. But I've already downloaded the file, so I'm going to open it and show you um, what you do, need to do next. So you're going to open Winbox and uh, click on the, the Neighbors tab and then click Refresh. When you click Refresh, what it does is that it search the network for your Microtik router. So at this time your Microtik, your router should be connected um, directly to your PC. I remember you should be using port 2, any port between um, from 2 to 5, those are the port that you should be using just to do the initial configuration. Uh, the next thing is that you're going to click on the MAC address. So you're going to click on this um, area here with the MAC address, you're not going to click on the IP address because this more likely will change during the configuration. So you're going to click on the MAC address and the user ID is admin and initially there is no password. So you're going to click connect. So because it is the first time you're configuring your router, it's going to ask if you want to use the default configuration. Um, but in we are not going to use that, we are going to configure our own. So we are going to click remove configuration. Let me just open this window a bit wider. Alright, so we are going to use the quick set feature to do some of the initial configuration. It is going to um, advise you that um, you could lose um, connectivity, you're going to say yes, and you're going to change um, to home AP or WIS AP. So, WIS AP is if you're um, setting up the router to offer internet service to a number of users, but um, we'll be setting up the router using the home AP, and again, it's going to prompt you, letting you know that you may lose connection. Alright, so the first thing that we need to set up, we are going to set up is, is your internet. However, you are not connected anyhow, but depends on, depending on the type of internet connection that you have, um, you will select the appropriate setting. But most internet service provider, the modem, usually have an automatic setting. So we are going to use the automatic configuration, because this usually works for most modem. However, if your ISP uses a different feature such as PPOE or a static um, IP, you can set it to those. 
the next step is to set your router IP address. So we are going to use 192.168.5.1. The reason why we are using 5.1, you may have noticed that a lot of routers are using 192.168.0.1 or 1.1. .1. Um, the reason is reason why we are using an IP address that is outside of that range is to prevent any um, conflict with the addresses. So we're going to use, so you could use any IP address that is outside of those range, just to be on the safe side. And for the network mask, we're going to use a slash 24 for that. And we're going to configure the DHCP server, so you're going to tick that also. And you're going to select a range. So the range that we're going to use is 192.168.5.1. Dot 10 and the reason why I'm starting at 10 is to just just in case you have some devices that you're going to assign static IP addresses to um, you can actually put them in that range but you don't need to worry about that just set it to 10 for now and the ending IP address range would be 192.168.5 five that say two five four and then you're going to enable not and click apply click OK the next thing that we're going to configure is the wireless so click on wireless and by default you see um, the name WLAN 1 double click on that and click on the wireless tab ensure that this is set to the AP bridge so we're going to move down to the frequency so we're going to set the frequency to auto so this will allow the router to change frequency based on the best signal strength and uh, um, based on what is happening in the in the wireless spectrum so just set it to auto and the SSID now is the name of your your wireless access point so when you normally click on um, to browse or to search for a wireless the name that you put here is the name that will come up so we're going to leave this as microtick but you can also you can use any name that you wish we're going to click OK and we're going to configure the security profiles so click on the security profiles tab and there's one security profile named default so we're going to edit that and we're going to change the mode to dynamic keys and we're going to tick WPA2 PSK and the reason why we're using this is a, this is a strong this has this wireless um, authentication type as this as is more secure so we're going to use that and we're going to use a a key so really is a Wi-Fi password um, whatever password they want to use just just make sure that you remember it so I'm going to put a password there and then click apply then click OK. And we're going to close that. Close this window. And then the next thing is, next thing that we're going to do is reboot the router. So go to System. System. Reboot. And it's going to ask you, do you want to reboot your router? You're going to click yes. So your router will now be rebooting. How do you know that your router start is started completely? Is by looking at it, you'll see the Wi-Fi light flashing, and you'll also see um, the port that your Ethernet cable is plugged into. You see that port um, lit. You can go ahead now and plug your 
the cable from your modem into port 1 and now you will be able to browse your internet through your Microtik router. So that's it for the first tutorial on how to get started with Microtik. Uh, so stay tuned for another tutorial in, in this series. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.